Hello guys, in previous video we have we have seen how we can add data to our Firebase Firestore database. Now we are going to read or load all this data inside our application. So inside our application before moving forward let me show you I have created one item layout for our list recycler list one adapter to bind data with the item layout and before getting data from the server or we can say firebase firestore we have to add default values here to convert this object directly here we have to provide default values for all of these parameters right? okay. and I have already added recycler view inside our main activity or uh, our, our home activity now let's write code here we are making one function to load all data from the server first I will show you that how we can load all the data from the server after that i will show you how we can retrieve data with user id so we can show we can display user specific data right let's create a function load all data and pass here user uid as a string right let's create data here for loading all task from server right? function load all data user id as a string now we have to create a reference for our collection which is db dot collection let's copy this name copy this collection name here so from our reference we can get all all the list of data right? add here on success listener where we will get all the data from the server as a type query snapshot so here we can check if it is empty so we can simply make a toast let me copy the toast here paste it here and say no task found okay. and if it end written if query snapshot is not empty we can loop through all query snapshots query snapshots are collect query snapshot is collection of documents so we can <coughs> loop through all the documents and convert each document to our task model equals to doc to object here we can pass our class file which is task model class file and add each task to our array list let's create one empty array list which is task list array list of task models and add each task to task list <clears throat> after adding all tasks we have to buy adapter with our recycler view to show this list on screen so let's write bind recycler view apply first argument is layout manager in our case is linear layout manager let's 
vertical and fall. Second argument is adapter. Here we have created task adapter. First argument is task list. I have misspelled it. And second argument is context. Let's quickly run and check this code. This extra space is from here while code is keeping. So our application launched successfully. Here we can say we can see all the tasks which are added. So let me add new task new dummy one and click on add so when we refresh the page we can see our task here Let me quickly add refresh layout. Here we can add swipe refresh by binding dot refresh dot add set on refresh listener if My if binding dot refresh is refreshing. We simply set it false. <coughs> and load all data again. user id string current user dot uid right. let's run this code again so our application running successfully we have new task Let's create second task, second dummy and add. Task added successfully. Let's swipe up refresh. So you can see our new task is here. Now let's load user specific data, right? So here we have passed UID as a parameter. So after before get function we have to write our query so dot here we have to write where
equals to our field name is sorry my system is hanging little bit our field name is user id so here we can write user id and which will be user id string now this code will load what we can we can this we can say this code will load user specific data right so let me let's quickly run this code also check field name is the same as our database okay so it is same So our application is launching successfully let me log out from here and create one another user so here is a second second user at the rate gmail.com and password will be same for simplicity so here we have registered and let me add task qrt at the end okay. so here you can see user specific task only so we don't have to worry about who is logging one user cannot see another user's task right oh i mistakenly log out let me check our first user dummy and login so here we are we can see only task which created by our dummy user right so that's it for this video guys i hope you have learned everything you can if you have any doubt or question you can write inside comment box i will answer each and every comment i hope you like this video and also i will add this project to github and paste link into description so you can check code directly or you can clone the repository from github Thanks for watching. I hope you will like this video and see you in the next one.